So here we have the module, uh, it was set to 24 volts um, with no load, the load has gone down a little, load being 0.6 of, of an amp. And this is stable now, it's been on for uh, over an hour. So let's just see what uh, what temperature, oh by the way, 23.6 uh, times 0.6 comes to a little over 14 watts. So we should be within the, the limits of not needing the, the heat sink. Fifty six degrees, so yep, yeah, with a mark one finger, um, that's warm, but uh, not uh, by any means uh, overheating. So, the next thing to do perhaps is to tweak up the uh, the current so we get over the 15 watts and see what sort of rise in temperature we get there. So, that's been running for a few minutes now and Yeah, we're getting up to around 65 degrees, but I still wouldn't say that that's excessive. So let's really crank it up. Let's go to just a little over 21 watts, which is 0.9 of an amp. I would say that's getting warm now. Okay, we'll just give that a few minutes to, to stabilize. So this is after a couple of minutes at the 21 watt range. 74, yes, yeah, so we're, yep, that's definitely toasty. So we're pushing the envelope now. So what I'd like to do is to, uh, first of all, just crank that down a bit. Uh, I'm gonna put on one of these little heat sinks. I've seen these are uh, used on this device, seems to be the recommended one. These are often found on the little stepper motor driver boards. Um, it seems a bit small, I don't know if it's going to make a huge amount of difference, but we'll put it on and see. And I'm going to put it on, on top of the component. Now I have seen some people, if you look on the base of the unit here, um, there are uh, a bunch of like plated through holes and this area is obviously isolated uh, so it is possible to put the put the heat sink on this side but um, yeah I don't, don't quite go with that one so we'll put it on the top and uh, repeat and see if uh, we've got a, a significant drop in the temperature so here we are back with the 0.9 of an amp which gives us 21 watts and we have the the heat sink in place now Oops, sorry guys gonna pop that back on there for you hopefully you should be able to see the readings there yeah so 23.6 times 0.9 I'll say about 21 and a bit watts so let's see where we are with the temperature now It's only been on for a minute or so, so it's still warming up. So again, we'll give that uh, give that a minute or so, and then we'll come back and see what, what the temperature stabilizes at. So here we are with the 21 watts still running. Been running for a while now, so let's check the temperature on the on the heat sink. So it's getting up to pretty much around the same temperature. Uh, as I say, these things aren't particularly accurate, but it's around 70, 78 to 80 degrees, uh, which is within the limits of the device. I think the junction temperature of the IC is rated up to 125C. So uh, although it's reading around about the same temperature, as without the heat sink, I guess the heat sink is doing its job in as much as it's conducting the heat away from 
the device. So not not a hundred percent conclusion there, but uh, it's certainly I mean, it's not not going into meltdown and. Uh, It's uh, stabilised at that temperature, so it doesn't look like it's under under stress in any way, and it will quite happily sit there pumping out that 21 watts for forever, I imagine. <laughs>